This is Jennifer Siebel Newsom, the first partner out in California. So she has to virtue signal about some weird old LGBTQ agenda driven propaganda, even though she's got four kids with scumbag greaseball bang your wife, Governor Gavin Newsom, who slept with his best friend's wife, blamed it on the alcohol and issued a mealy mouthed apology. I uh, want to make it clear that everything you've heard and read is true. Uh, and I am deeply sorry about that. I've hurt someone I care deeply about, Alex Turk, his friends and family. And that is something that I have to live with and something that I am deeply sorry for. I am also sorry that I've let the people of San Francisco down. Uh, they expect a lot of their mayor and my personal Lapse of judgment aside, uh, I am committed to restoring their trust and confidence and will work very hard in the upcoming months to make sure that the business of running the city is framed appropriately. But don't worry, she is still going to have four kids with him and tell you that you should abort your children. And now she is speaking in Spanish, giving a Mother's Day shout out to the Latinos in California, I guess. For some reason, but my name's Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please. Come on, please. It helps me a lot and it costs you nothing. But if you want to help me even more and spend a little bit of money, go ahead and buy my book, New York City 2020, Gotham Unglued. But this is just beyond parody. I'm not sure how this is happening, right? This is real step forward wives. This is, I mean, this lady is like little Hillary Clinton, and she kind of flies under the radar. Hola, mamás de California. Feliz día de las madres. Gracias por todo lo que haces para cuidar y criar a la próxima generación. Yeah, who is this for? Okay, you're, you're reaching out to the Spanish speakers of California, or are you reaching out to the tax-paying Americans that you've already run roughshod over with your scumbag greaseball governor husband? I mean, what is this for? And who is giving these orders that I can't imagine, right? Somebody help me out. Somebody at the top said, they're going to love this. Just speak in Spanish and tell them to abort their babies and then post a picture of your family with four kids, right? I mean, how detached from reality are these people actually? And well, of course they are detached from reality, but as I've said several times, this is far beyond incompetence. This is far beyond being out of touch. This is pure evil. Como mamá, entiendo la fuerza y el amor que todos ustedes tienen hacia la luz que guía a nuestros hijos. Yeah, who cares, lady? You're wishing women in California a happy Mother's Day in Spanish? For what reason? I, I, I mean, is that going to change the cost of anything? Right. I, even in her favor, like, is that going to drive the gas prices up or is it just empty, completely empty virtue signaling? And then there's her. Um, she says Sotomayor Arts and Sciences Magnet School Farm is a shining example of California farm to school. The hands on learning opportunities are cultivating healthier futures and igniting a passion among young people for future careers in science and agriculture. Partner Jennifer Siebel Newsom focused on Southern California schools this week. Today, she And of course, the media, they are going heavy on this first partner thing. It's about inclusion and LGBTQ rights. But uh, yeah, I'm a straight 50 year old woman with four kids, but you should be gay. And if you're not gonna be gay, you should have some kids and then make sure you abort them. But I got four of my own and we're gonna take over eventually with the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture and other education officials to highlight California's farm to school meal program. She met with students, educators, farmers. Farm to school meal program. So she's like part Hillary Clinton and then part Michelle Obama trying to pretend that she's going to bring healthy food to the kids or something. Nutrition staff at the Sotomayor Arts and Sciences Magnet in Glacelle Park. There's a farm at that school where the students are involved with growing food and tending the grounds. 
We have our beautiful uh, plant beds. They were all student made, student planted, student grown. Everything on the farm is student made, of course, with the direction of Mr. Flores. And she wants to talk about food, right? As, as if we're all going to just forget that your husband went to the French Laundry, and I'm sure you were there, while he told everybody else to stay home. We're grateful for Mr. Flores. A lot of student pride in the work they do on that farm. Newsom joined by local officials, including LAUSD Superintendent Alberto Carvalho. We've got a close-up look at the animals on the farm, as well as feeding one of the cows. Looks pretty. I mean, just imagine thinking that this lady and Gavin Newsom are looking out for you. I mean, this is beyond. And look, I don't know. I'm no expert, and I'm not going to harp on likes. But it's very strange. She's got, I think... 60,000 followers, the reels that she posts barely get any views, barely get any likes, and I think even most of the comments are either critical or perhaps bots. Princess proposal, amazing, that's probably a bot. How are you people not ashamed of yourselves? Clown, Gaza, why does she go by first partner? What a phenomenal school. Okay, so maybe that's real. Uh, look, maybe some people are buying it, but I highly doubt it. You just don't have enough. You, we, we don't believe you. You need more people. We don't believe you. You need more people. Cool there. <laughs> they discuss how fresh food and farming improves the health of students. They hope this California model of farm to school can be replicated across the country. And there you have it. We are trying to expand the, demo the, the destruction that we have created in California and export it nationwide every single time. When we were in China, she talked about it at a school there, about mm. something that could be replicated in China as well. It's a huge passion project for the first partner and something she's been focused on for a long time. I like the talking about health. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's so important. I like the talking about health. It's, th this is crazy. And this is another reason why, you know, Crip Keeper Pelosi talks about we, we should lower the voting age to 16 because those are the only people who are going to think, I mean, they probably come from broken families. There's no reason for anybody at this point in time, maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, but now the mask has completely slipped and we can all see it. And this is why it's so sinister is because they are going to push on. And now that they have the power, they are not going to relinquish it, right? Every, I always say, yeah, okay, well, you know, you get what you vote for. Fine. Perhaps that's assuming that quote unquote voting is on the level, which I highly doubt. But in that vein, they are not going to be voted out. Governor Newsom, who shut down your business and forced you to take a pharmaceutical and, and close your kid's school while his kids went to school. Do you think for one split second he's going to say, well, Guess we were outvoted this time. Good game, guys. We're going to come up with a plan that works for people. It's not going to happen. Think about what you eat. You know, exactly. sets a student up for the rest of their life. Exactly. First partner, Jennifer. First partner. This is absolutely crazy. And I, they uh, look. I'm speechless. Uh, I am speechless. I am without speech. But do they truly believe this? Does Jennifer Siebel Newsom really believe this? I mean, think about what actually goes on behind the scenes. Like, think about the diabolical conversations that scumbag, greaseball, bang your wife, Gavin Newsom has with his wife about producing this propaganda and sending her around. And he's setting up for president. Right? Even though we're also told that, oh, systemic racism and white people are bad. But not me. Not, I mean, not, not Gavin Newsom. Not my wife. Right? We love abortion, but we have four kids. I mean, it's just through the roof. And I can't by any stretch of the imagination, be the only person that notices it. And this is actually the best one. This is not a video, but again, from her Instagram account, excessive access to addictive social media is exacerbating the youth mental health crisis, reinforcing a toxic comparison culture in addition to unrealistic and harmful beauty standards, all while spreading min misinformation and hate. Okay, so actually, she's partly correct on that. There is a, a toxic culture of addictive, uh, of addictive social media, but obviously misinformation and hate are just things that you don't like. The awfuls, the affluent white female liberals in the Democrat Party, and that it's these that they're so divisive. You know, the ones focused on making sure that your children have hormones because they've decided at the age of ten that well, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl, or vice versa, something to that effect. 
Hate is just code word for something that I don't think you should say because it goes against my narrative. And misinformation is quite clearly just, you know, it, this the same thing. I digress. The point here is that this is at the Milken Institute Global Conference, the very same conference where kickback Kathy Hochul said that black people don't even, or no, um, black people, I, I can't do Colchel's voice. I do Cuomo's voice or Eric Adams, but obviously everybody saw the clip of kickback Kathy saying that black people don't know what computers are. Young black kids growing up in the Bronx who don't even know what the word a computer is. They, they don't know. They don't know these things. And I want the world open up to all of them because when you have their di diverse voices innovating solutions through technology, then you're really addressing society's broader challenges. Then she walked that back because that's how, I guess, out of touch they are. I mean, this mixture of evil and stupid is just brutal, okay? But for Gavin Newsom's wife to say that there is an excess, excess access to addictive social media. So how could that be at the same exact time there's a portion of the population that don't even know what a computer is? And this is how stupid they are, right? So black kids don't even know what a computer is, but also at the same conference, these kids are getting too deep into social media and they're being fed misinformation and spewing hate. 